really funny little kit and quite interesting. Hello, this is VJ from Hearns Hobbies and the kit I'm looking at today is this one here. I think it's quite funny. This is the Hasegawa uh, Chubu 01 Mikabot. Okay, so the Chubu industry story, this is actually part of the uh, Mextro Wego series of robots, which is a big round looking thing, which um, you see in Warwick and myself do as uh, dioramas. This one's fairly new. It's actually quite humanoid looking, very slender. And uh, as the story goes, apparently this was the first robot by the Chubu Industries and made in 1957. So it's part of this interesting storyline and uh, it has a driver figure in it as well. So this is the 35th scale, which is perfect for um, working with other 35th scale figures. Uh, and there's a lot of vehicles in 35th scale as well, because these work really well in dioramas. So let's have a closer look at the front of the box. So here we go, Chubu 01. So you've got two um, shown within here. And it's actually this version that you're gonna be getting. So it has a female pilot uh, and it's in this particular color. Interesting when you see it here, you do see sort of these 1950s automotive uh, aesthetics about it. And obviously in 1957, they didn't have anything like this, but it has that sort of fantasy vibe. Okay, let's have a look inside and look at all the parts. Okay, so you can see that light blue there already. Quite a thick box, so there's quite a few things in here. Okay, let's pop that aside and have a look in each one of these sprues. Okay, so there's quite a few in each bag. So let's just pop this over here. Let's spread them out a bit. All right, so first thing over here, we've got a set of poly caps. It's quite common for them to just call them the PC parts. Good poly cap. And then they're the ball jointed areas here. So that gives you some indication of how these are jointed and you'll be able to pose this after it's finished. Also, you know, it helps when you're you're able to pose things like this in the diorama rather than chopping up joints and uh, resetting them. Okay, so there's your poly caps. All right, we've got some major body work here. Uh, these, I can't actually recognize any of these, but these will be covers. These are the head armor part. So these are, you, you start with the design, which is a uh, sub-assembly type of skeleton. And then these are the sort of armor body panels that clip on the, on the outside. So these are all a press fit. So you can see all these big locating lugs. It's quite a nice aqua type color too. All right, now we've got some white parts. All right, so we've got some joint covers. So they probably cover up the, uh, the centers of the uh, elbows on the knees. You've got the tops of the feet. And then you've got this, there's a the female figure. So 35th scale. And it's really, really nicely sculpted. So again, this is the Hasgawa 3D scanning technology, which they've been implementing. And actually, if I zoom that in a bit, it'll give you a better idea. For 35th scale figure, let's see if I can focus that up a bit. Oh, I've gone a bit too far. Actually, let's see how close I can get that. Might be able to see that there. See, that was the shadows. Now that's really good for such a tiny figure. You can see the size of my thumb right there. I'm trying to get that into focus, sorry. Now this is really, really nice. So she's a seated figure. You can see the legs are, are separate and the arms are separate and she's holding onto the controls. Okay, so there's the white components. So it's, it's nicely color separated as well. You've got the section of gray parts and I've got a feeling that there's a identical uh, set of this in the other bag as well. So these are the base parts and you've got supports. Some of these are detail components. That I think is perhaps the bases of the feet. But these are the sections for the base just to help it prop up the, uh, uh, the mech while it's in its sort of resting position because it's sort of back heavy. There's the controls there. You've got the rear vision. Uh, mirrors, so it's got that 1950s motorcycle car look to it. Okay, so that's that. And then we've got some dark green parts. And these are the, so that's a seat right there. And you've got, the, these are the internal skeleton parts. Okay, so the main frame. Got the control handles right there for the cockpit. Okay. So that's that bag, and then we end up with the second bag. And you've got quite a few bits in there too. 
All right, so we've got some more dark components, but these are uh, actually what we've got here. That looks very familiar. There you go. Okay, so the armor component. So you do have a choice of either doing a dark green version or the light green version. So you do get to choose whichever one you want. Okay, dark green or the light blue. Okay, so that's that. All right, so optional green, just discovered that. There's another section of, actually, I am wrong. I'm totally wrong. They're two separate kits. Okay, so there's another base, another figure set, and then the opposite colored frame. So you could actually mix and match between all these components and you'll end up with two um, Megabots. So there you go, so I've learned something new too. All right, let's lay these out, you probably get a better idea. Do that. And that'll be easier to recognize as well. Okay, so you've got two sets of white parts. You can see that. So you got your the rider figure, identical female figure, and then you've got opposed colors here. Okay, so the top here I've got the armor, the outer color, and then here we've got the inner color. So there you go, you've got two full kits. And then of course you've got the the bases. So you've got two bases each. Oh, I should say two bases, one each, and then there's one packet of polycaps which will cover both of them. Okay, so there you go. Alright, so that's my review of the Hasegawa 135th scale Chubu 01. There's actually two kits in one, I assumed it was one, but there's two, and you can uh, build it as you can see on the box, either the light blue armor with the dark green, or you can mix and match to do whatever you like. So, there you go. Really funny little kit, and quite interesting.